Hello, I'm Alan Haley and this is my Advanced Systems Design Project. What I've tried to design here is an interactive audio system which is primarily aimed at young school kids with little or no musical skill or interest in music to try and get them interested in music and help them develop skills at a young age. This idea this could, could also benefit kids with learning difficulties and even kids with things like ADHD to help them focus on stuff through sensory input and interaction giving instant results so it will make them happy more or less and get them interested. It will also help to build up their confidence levels, their communication skills through use with their teachers, our kids and home environments as well. By doing some research into what I'll try and aim for here, I found a project by Bjork called Biophilia, which is um, it's the same idea as what I've got here, but she uses an iPad and an app called Biophilia. But once you load it up on the screen, you put your hand on it and you manipulate all the sounds. This idea has been implemented to every single school in Iceland and it's been a great success and there's even been a few papers written about how successful it is and what it does to build confidence and develop kids. Another idea was the Imogen Heap gloves video. It's been on, I've seen it on YouTube where she uses, she's got gloves, one hand through motion gestures, triggers, like low end bass signals and the other hand through mo other movements, triggers, percussions, where you can build up a so song. It's the same kind of idea without using fancy technology and me keeping it cheap, more or less, from a, from a project. And basically, and I'll go a bit into my build of this system. What I've got here is my MP3 trigger. I had some issues with it for seeing the length of my cables. You could only use cables about this a foot or so long, so I had to get a one kilo ohm pull up resistor, which I've taken from the output of the multiplexer to, to the voltage regulator, which I'll just zoom in and show you. That is this little one here, if you can see, if my phone would zoom in. I keep forgetting this is live and I've got my hand touching it. And another issue I had was with the the output the headphone socket here. It was only it has a DC offset that's only suitable for headphones, so I had to build this little line out protection so it would play through a hi-fi system. And the other issues that old G C peeps, the other issues that I had was when I triggered any sounds, any sounds, by, by my burglar alarms or my piezos when I went to trigger the next one. It only plays one sound at a time instead of letting me build up my song. And these piezos are rubbish. Very pedantic little, little, you know what I'm trying to say. So, to give you the full idea of what my system was supposed to do, I've got the full recorded arrangement that I recorded in a, a DAW software called Sonar X2 by Cakewalk. So, this is the full song. So, if I go back to the beginning, play and will mute all the tracks so that's track where's track one Give me two seconds so there's first track
I got and kind of whole song that will help the kids learn about basically basic music theory because it's all in a 4 4 time signature shot, helping them count and just getting their brain working and stuff. That's basically me for the night. And because of this, I have to go back to the drawing board and add a few other bits. So once I redesign this, I'll be back in two minutes. Thank you. Hello, welcome back to my interactive audio system. As before I showed you, I had a few issues, so I had to design this a bit more to make it more interesting and more advanced for this module. So, firstly, something I bought was something called the Korg Little Bit Synth Kit, which is this. Which I decided to use on one of the channels on my DJ Mixer. So, if we switch this on, Two channels on here as well, one down both sides. As well as this, I ended up buying myself an Alesis uh, drum trigger, which is running, going into the Cubase and using one of the soft synths. Kind of, what one am I using? I'm using the Mystic synth and Cubase, which is attached to all these pieces, so I have. I know I have kind of versed away from what I had initially started as an interactive system for kids, but I suppose well, it's still a concept stage, so I could develop it into the correct noises for, the, for, for using for children. This is more just crazy sounds mucking about in an audio system that's been built from me by myself. And I've still got my original audio system connected up so I can, I can start that up and then just use that as a bass line then work about with, work about with all my bits and have hours of endless fun and you never know what you could come up with. That's about all I can honestly say about my system. It's all connected up through my DJ mixer. So the piezos, these piezos seem to work great. These, the ones on my tin cans going into this, just, they were a complete joke. The vault has changed and they must have been pathetic. But these ones are working a lot better with my Elisa's drum trigger here going into Cubish. And, um, happy with what I have developed. That's, that's the only piece that works properly. As you can see, I could just sit and play with this for hours. Endless. So. Right, so instead of me just mucking about, I should really just speak to say this is my whole audio system, and this is what I have developed. 
Thank you for your time.